Since school choice became part of Florida's education landscape, the power of parents to make choices about their child's public school education has greatly increased. All school districts now have procedures that allow a family to choose among certain schools within that district. Enrollment caps and other factors determine the specific choices available under this option, which is known as controlled open enrollment. Additionally, families of children who attend consistently low-performing schools have the opportunity to choose a higher-performing public school. School districts with Title I schools that have not made adequate yearly progress for three consecutive years in reading or math must offer supplemental educational services for eligible students to increase their proficiency in reading and math. They have choice with transportation or that parent can choose free tutoring for their child after school. Magnet programs and magnet schools attract students from across a school district. They typically offer a specialized curriculum or a unique setting. For example, a magnet school may allow students to concentrate on performing arts or business while still meeting the Sunshine State standards. A magnet program offers a specialized curriculum within a traditional public school. Magnet program in general is good for the kids because it targets the things that they're good at and it actually um, accelerates or increases their exposure to it. Appalachie Tapestry Magnet School of the Arts was established in 1999 as Leon County's first elementary magnet school. Since then, it has excelled in enhancing student education through artistic emphasis. The program incorporates the arts into standardized state-approved core curricula. The goal is to help students develop a passion for learning while nurturing their existing creativity. They have the opportunity while they're here to experience dance, to experience graphic arts, um, painting, sculpture, music, and we give the children the opportunity to experience each of those things in the younger years. And then in the fourth and fifth grade, they get to choose what they want to specialize in and further develop that talent. I did actually look at other art programs, but of course I wanted to find one that was affordable, basically free. <laughs> so uh, Appalachia actually fit into what we wanted to get done. Of course, academically, I wanted to make sure that she would be able to be challenged and soar. However, she's very interested in the arts, and at an early age we saw that that was something that she was good at. It makes me well-rounded, and it gives me exposure to art that I've never thought that I would see or be able to listen to. Being able to be at a school where parents do have that choice and to see children grow and change and are nourished through that environment has just been a great experience. I can really say what I want to in a, a picture. Like my mom, she's a painter, so she's abstract, so I do abstract painting and realistic. It's helped me be a better artist, and it's helped me see that um, everything's not exact. Some, some things are free, and I could be comfortable with what I'm drawing, and, I, and if I don't like something, I can turn it into something different. It was important for my mother to be able to choose a school for me because she wanted a school that I would be able to be comfortable in and that I would excel and be my own person in. Kids who come here, they truly get just the field of everything from the athletics to the academics to the science and technology. It's fabulous. Couldn't ask for anything more, truthfully. The Applied Science and Technology program at Cobb Middle School in Tallahassee seeks to inspire creativity, stimulate curiosity, and empower students to develop a comprehensive understanding of their world through a pursuit of scientific knowledge and investigative skills. And our inquiry base not only teaches the kids about science, but it teaches them to question things in life in general. Perry absolutely loves science and anything hands-on research where she can really delve into it. That was what she wanted to do, and we wanted her to be confident and have fun and enjoy her middle school years. When Logan was in fifth grade, I was just looking for something that was more engaging, so I did my own little Google search, and Cobb was the first one that intrigued me, but as soon as he was invited to come and take a look and apply, and this one was just it, science and math, it was, it was definitely for him. They really are specializing. They're teaching them really how to learn, what to learn, um, the excitement of it, and different ways to learn.
I like the just process of finding what goes in like the different organs and the cells and everything. I really like to learn about the um, cells because you're like learning about what makes up the human body. It's just really fun. I like the different like observing that we get to do um, and you get to interact with other people. It's not like you're always alone doing stuff. You get to interact with other people. I think it has contributed by allowing more interaction and with hands-on stuff and then I can actually experience it and then it'll help me remember stuff or something. So I think it'll, it helps me a lot. I'm making a graph so that like we can just like take the measurements of like the brain case of these different birds and the orbital loads in different parts of the birds. Uh, we kind of accelerate kids now and some people feel like it's a little too much sometimes, but when it's something that kid really enjoys, um, it's, it's like feeding their brain and they kind of just get super excited um, about the fact that they are able to participate in, in these types of programs. Doing better in school makes me feel like I can be whatever I want to be when I grow up. Uh, when I grow up, I probably want to be like a mechanic, mechanical scientist. I want to become a pharmacist when I grow up, and in order to become a pharmacist, you have to specialize in science and math. I think it helped because I really, really want to be a neonatologist, and in fourth and fifth grade, I didn't really like science that much, but now it's really, it's a lot more interesting. She has developed a lot more analytical skills. She's always been naturally smart at math in some areas, but the courses have challenged her to actually think a little bit deeper and know that the answer isn't always gonna be right in front of you. I may, it may be inferred or something that I have to look a little deeper. So I think her analytical skills have gotten a lot better. He loves school. He liked it before, he always enjoyed learning, but now he loves it. He looks forward to coming to school every day. The teachers engage him. It's, it's just a great relationship, and I, I see him growing. This first quarter's done. He's grown more than I expected for the full year.